Hello math faculty at Jackson College. In this video I'm going to show you how to take a YouTube video, for example, per se one of my YouTube videos, and create an assignment out of it in the homework so that when students go into the homework they can actually see it as a video. So for example I have the lecture videos here and so on. So what if you wanted to embed for example syllabus videos. Now of course you can do this with all sorts of videos. Um, I would imagine for a lot of you for Math 133, for example, it would be videos from me, the lead faculty, but you can also create your own and post them to YouTube and embed them here in the homework. It's a really nice tool and it helps the students find the videos more easily. So let me show you how to do it. So you go to Course Tools and you wait. Oh, never mind. It's the new system. I forget. So you click on Assignment Manager right here. And then you're going to create an assignment. I'm going to create a homework assignment right here. And I'm going to call this syllabus videos, for example. Next. And of course, you could do this for any section. Um, this method that I'm going to show you is really particularly useful if you have to miss a day um, because of snow or something like that. You can embed the videos that um, from my YouTube channel of the lectures that they missed. So let's say you you know you missed section 6.2, you can find lecture videos from 6.2 and embed them in the assignment for that semester. So I currently have some fall 14 ones up; those might work, etc. Um, I'll be posting new ones through Fall 15 unless the old ones work, in which case I'll leave them up. Another way to see it, by the way, is in the playlists. So if you go to the playlist and you look in the lectures playlist for um, Fall 15 to Spring 16, this one right here. So I'll keep posting um, fresh videos or if the old ones will work like they would for 3.1, I'll leave them in there. Okay, so when I'm back in the assignment, I want to change to media right here. So I'm going to click on the media and they're actually videos by the publisher. Um, might not be what you're interested in or maybe it will work. So you can always check those out and see if there's something that will work for you. I'm going to add my own media right over here. Click on add my own media and then I'm going to give it a title. Now you can title it anything you want. I'm actually going to title it to match the um, video that I made. So I'm going to call it syllabus overview number one and I'm just gonna make that smaller so we can see it. And then for the URL, you can use the URL up here, or if you click on share, you can use that one, which is a little bit shorter, so I use that one generally, but either one should work. And I'm gonna paste it right in here. And then I wanna tell it that it's a video, and I'm gonna associate it just for my own benefit for later on with an orientation, because the syllabus is kind of an orientation. When you get down to specific um, section say like you're in chapter six you can actually pitch what pick which section is pick which objective it is and things like that but i'm not going to get that involved for a syllabus video and then i'll click save and then when i go back to the assignment manager it's already there and then i'll just keep adding my own media so i'll i'll continue this process so i'll add syllabus video to oops maybe i got that wrong let me double check that that link. So let me click on this. And I want to make sure that that link is the correct link. Yes, it was. So if, if before you've posted it and, and students have tried it, you can double check your links in there. So I'm going to try again, add my own media. I'm done with number one. So I'm going to shut that video down, which I have found helps a lot because sometimes you can end up with too many. And then this will be number two. And I'll use that link and go back to there and paste, choose video. And orientation and then I'll just save it and then I have one more so let me pause and I'll be back I'm gonna go do this one more time with add my own media so I'll be right back there we have it that's all ready so save and now I've got three videos and they're there and of course you could change your points or whatever but videos um, students can actually kind of skim through them and not watch the whole thing. They can kind of move the cursor on the um, screen, just like on a YouTube video. So I generally don't make it worth a lot of points, but um, nevertheless, it's there. And for some of them, I can actually attach prerequisites. For example, you can't start the section 1-3 homework unless you've, quote, watched the 1-3 lecture videos. Now, granted, the students can kind of skim ahead and pretend that they watched it, but at least then there's some kind of trigger and reminder that they should be watching the lecture videos. 
and that's how you make videos and embed them. I did not assign this because, of course, this is my syllabus of videos, so it won't be quite appropriate for your course. So I left that unassigned. Um, you're welcome to assign it if you like, but it will be my information, not necessarily what you'd want for your class. And actually, I'll probably delete this because I'm in the template course, and you don't really need this in the template itself. So, But that's how to do this, and I hope that helps.